Hi, in this video, we will have a look at SharePoint image column. So this is my SharePoint list called branch list. And I have got a column called picture. Let me take to the picture column and see the data type. So you can see the data type is image. Yeah. The plan is I'm going to send an email and using Power Automate, we will get the attachment from the email, which is the picture, and then upload that in SharePoint under this branch. Okay, so that once I create the list, uh, then I could see the thumbnail of the picture here. Okay, so how to do this? So for that, I'm going to go to SharePoint, uh, sorry, uh, Power Automate and create a new flow. Okay, so the trigger I'm going to use here is the email trigger. So I'm going to use Office 365 Outlook connector. Okay, so I'm going to put a subject filter here called upload picture. Include attachments, yes. Only with attachments, I'm going to turn that also as as that. Okay, so that's my trigger. And the next step is I want to get this attached attachment the picture in SharePoint okay so the plan is let me go back to my list so this is a branch list so before I create the item I need I need that picture in SharePoint so for that so see this list branch list that's my URL here yeah so if you look this URL here you can see my sharepoint.com then slash site assets so under the site assets you can see list then there are guides here so this is this one of the guides is mine here yeah so if I open this not that one I think is this one here so for this this guide is the one uh, which where I am going to utilize to upload the image. So how can we create this uh, from SharePoint? So I'll show you that. I'm going to delete this. Okay, let me delete all of them. Then. Yeah. Okay, nothing there now. So what I could do now here is I'm going to create uh, this manually now. Yeah, it just to create that assets the guild uh, element. I'm going to put a test here, and under the image, click on the image. Go to okay. This is the image I want to upload. There we go. That's come up there now. Yeah, so if I open my image, you can see my image. So that's a manual one. Yeah, so let me go back to the other URL site assets list. See, it created automatically that guild. So this is the guild of the list. Also, you could find the guild if you go to the settings, list settings, see the URL here. See the list, remove the percentage FB and the percentage 70 at the last. So if I copy this and open it in a notepad, if I may take you here now and compare it, so you can see it's a guild is same. So that's why it creates that, yeah? Um, or you can go and manually create that folder if you want. Yeah, so this is probably the easiest way Just go and upload a manual one there So we got that Let me close this So we got the list and the, you know the folder also with the guild Okay, so let me go back to the branch list again and delete this now. So there are no records here Okay, and now going back to The outlook email uh, the trigger the next step we want is we want to create that file first so I'm going to use create file SharePoint so that's the SharePoint um, you know action step we need here select the SharePoint site okay the folder path so here the folder path is if you look here I'm going to use the site assets then the related list So 
site assets list here we go so select that path so this is where i want you know this is the branch list uh, my uh, you know the sharepoint list uh, site assets i'm going to store now the file name so here if i look at the file name here just search for name attachments name here that's what that's going to be so it's going to be more than one attachments for remember for this demo i'm going to only attach one only and one is my thumbnail also in the in the image column yeah so um the file content is the next one we need to map so here we go it's there attachment content okay so that's done so let me save this so i'm going to say sp so email um, attachment image upload to sp list okay and let me save the flow right that's now and um, i'm going to test this first and see what's happening here yeah so let me go and run this so for that i need to send an email okay i'm going to click my button now and i'm going to send an email now okay here we go this is the email i sent you can see there is an attachment uh, image there and uh, my subject also you know i'm filtering by the subject as well so i just put that as upload picture there yeah close that okay my flow is running now just refresh that that's done so that means that should be in sharepoint now that image so let me go back here here we go that's the image now let me open that that's the image yeah it's all good now okay let me delete this again because that's not the one i want to we want to achieve now yeah so let me go back here again so nothing is in the branch list as well and we can carrying on building the next steps of the flow now okay at this stage we pushed that image in sharepoint now under the assets path yeah i'm going to put all the paths and um, um, the other details in my video description as well okay the next step is we want to create uh, the sharepoint list along with the image also so for that we can't use the create item because uh, the image won't appear there so if i use create item you won't be able to see that so for this we need to use a send uh, http one so let me take you there okay here it is okay so for that again we need to select the sharepoint site name and here i need to use the post and the next thing we need to use here is uh, the uri the uri is uh, slash uh, api slash web slash list slash get title branch space list remember that's what my list is called branch space list then items okay then we got few content types we need to follow here so the first uh, one the header is the content type and the content type is the first content type is this application json no data verbose yeah and then we need accept and uh, that's the uh, one we want it's just it's the same as other one both yeah so we, we so we put two header, headers then the body so body is the one which i need to um, go through with you this okay i'll go I'll, let me copy this here okay so i'll go through this so again you know i'm going to put this body uh, in my video description as well right so here we got the metadata then sp uh, data dot branch c uh, underscore x0020 underscore list item so how do i find this so the, the easiest thing to do always is uh, the uh, you need to go here and say slash underscore api slash web slash list you get all the list names then search for a branch list see that here we go branch list list item so that's the exact name we want so and you can see the title is branch space list so if you put branch space list it's not going to work for you remember that okay so let me go back here so that's 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 what that's called uh, what are your uh, you know the 
your list name that's for that then you need to put this reserved keyword list item at the end oops okay and then the title okay so title i'm going to map that from my uh, um, email uh, you know the title you can put your own title you want then the picture so remember the picture is the column name so uh, let me go back here see that picture is my column name here okay so that's i given the column name there then you got a type thumbnail file name then the file name i got again from the uh, you know my trigger that's my attachment name then the field name again see that's my picture is my column name here so here also the column name here also the column name then the server url so here you need to put the hard coded value of your sharepoint.com then the server right to url is see that path slash site assets list slash the guid see the guid yeah that's also important here okay let me go back here and show you the guid again so that's a guid so you can this is the reason i said you need to create that first so that you need this guid to be applied under your body of the http one then finally the attachment name that's what we need go the path you know path need the name only because the content already been uploaded in the previous step okay so let me go back here there is nothing in the list and nothing inside uh, the list uh, um, uh, here under the branch list also yeah for the site assets there is no image also here okay now i'm going to run my flow so i'm not going to send another email i'm going to utilize the test flow the platform luckily gives us um, you know a good feature for um, we don't need to send another trigger uh, using this feature i can just uh, say save and test so what that, what's that going to do is it's going to use the last run trigger and use that data then okay okay that's running now okay it lo looks like all the steps uh, executed correctly here and if you look the body here you can see the body has been substituted with the right values there see the grand canyon dot uh, you know jpeg and uh, uh, the right uh, list name everything is there now so let me go back first to the assets so here we go that picture is just uploaded a few seconds ago that's good news now if i go back here and refresh my branch list here we go that's uh, so the title is uploaded picture i said that's my subject of my email which i mapped remember and this is the grand uh, canyon one Oh, that didn't upload it for some reason. I think I messed up something here. Let me go back and check again here. Hi. Okay, so um, I had looked uh, looked at the Microsoft uh, documentation here. So it says here like uh, one SharePoint online picture library doesn't display thumbnail previews. I'm not sure this is applicable for the list um, image upload also uh, so, so somehow it says here like you know the picture library that uses the classic experience for list and libraries in SharePoint online so you add a large image to the picture library however when you use the thumbnails view for the library there the image isn't displayed and also when I click the image it's a broken image link also so the workaround is it should be less than 50 megapixels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run um, another I'm going to send another trigger uh, with a small image size and see whether that's going to work or not. Okay, so let me send that email. Yeah, uh, send that email again. Okay, so I send this email uh, which contains a small image, and uh, let me go back. So you can see see it's uploaded and I got the thumb name. So if I click on the image, you can see the image. Let me close that. And then going back to the list and under the site assets, this is where it got uploaded. And I can see the image in full size also there. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.